Francis Arnold, George Smith, and Gregory Winter have won this year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry. And this year, we've got ourselves a Nobel twofer. The award is going to two distinct but related fields. Let's start with the first half of the prize. With this year's Nobel nod, Frances Arnold became the fifth woman to win a Nobel Prize in Chemistry. She's recognized for her invention and development of a technique called the directed evolution of enzymes. Let me explain. Enzymes help enable the chemical processes of life, such as metabolism. We also rely on enzymes to help us manufacture medicines and detergents. Using regular old evolution, nature has made enzymes that work, but there's always room for improvement. Evolution is not necessarily optimization. Realizing this, chemists have tried to design better enzymes, enzymes that are more active than their natural counterparts, or enzymes that could thrive outside their normal biological environment, say in a commercial reactor. Rather than assume chemists could design the best enzymes on their own, Arnold developed a way to enlist nature's help. In Arnold's directed evolution, she first engineers mutations into the genes that code enzymes. She then introduces a variety of these genes into a bunch of bacteria. Using the modified genes, the bacteria make modified enzymes. Chemists then test for which of these modified enzymes are best suited for the job we want them to do. Arnold gave a seminal demonstration of this in the 90s by modifying the enzyme subtilisin. Like most enzymes, it works in water, but Arnold directly evolved a version that works in an organic solvent used in industrial reactions. As Klaus Gustafsson of the Nobel Committee put it, it's like Darwinism in a test tube. Today, directed evolution has produced enzymes that are thousands of times more active than enzymes found in nature. And it has yielded enzymes that help us create medicines and biofuels. On to part D of Chem Nobel 2018, which goes to George Smith and Gregory Winter for their work with phages. Phages are viruses that essentially hijack bacteria. Phages unload their genetic payload into bacterial cells, and those genes trick the bacteria into making more phages. Total virus move. In the mid-80s, George Smith harnessed phages to sort of mass-produce and screen peptides and proteins of interest. First step, stick a gene of interest into a phage. That phage builds the corresponding peptide or protein and plants it on its surface. Smith then used an antibody lure to pluck that particular phage out of a pool of other phages. And once he's caught the phage, he's now got the protein and the genetic information that helps create it. So Smith introduced this new tool called Phage Display to explore biochemistry. George Winter's work brings this year's prize full circle. Building on Smith's Phage Display, Winter got phages to plant human antibodies on their surfaces. Using directed evolution, he then created multitudes of mutated antibodies. And he looked for the ones that would bind best to target proteins, proteins that are, say, involved in human diseases. Here's how American Chemical Society President Peter Dorhout used the science behind this year's prize. ACS also publishes CNN, which is my employer. The, the work that three, these three laureates have been involved with um, over the years has really helped advance our understanding of how fundamental chemistry of complex systems can be learned and ultimately controlled. And as we hinted at earlier, learning this fundamental chemistry has already played out in real-world applications. Winter's work led to a drug based on a human antibody that can halt inflammation in the body, and that drug was approved in 2002 to fight rheumatoid arthritis. You may know it as Humira. More recently, Arnold co-founded the company Provivi, which uses directed evolution to develop enzymes that protect plants from insects. Incidentally, that company was also one of CNN's 10 startups to watch in 2015. So congratulations to this year's laureates. It's always a hoot to cover chemistry super early in the morning, and it's cool to be part of the discussion in this historic year. This is the first time in the 117-year history of the Nobels that women have won both the Physics Prize and the Chemistry Prize in the same year. About time. Oh, I need to go charge my lithium-ion battery.